Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be decorating an apartment that is inspired by the summer which is something that I still haven't built before since I started the posting in summer and so I only have these apartments for autumn, winter and spring and so I was really excited to do this and I decided to have it here in Stone Street Apartments number 4 I originally built the autumn apartment in the same building in the one in the apartment next door and I discovered that you are able to actually move the windows not just on this floor but on the lower floors so I thought that was pretty cool and that allowed me to add some windows and change some of them without feeling like I was making the building ugly so I was able to add some from growing together which I thought matched perfectly with the colors of the other windows and I was able to just scoot some of them over and add another window into the bathroom which I think it's very cool. You still cannot change the windows that are on the wall where the door is, but the other ones you are free to, so I thought that was pretty cool. And I didn't really have a problem with the windows on that wall, so that wasn't that impactful for this build. So I really wanted to use a lot of blues and yellows, and I actually had such a hard time with this one. You will see it coming together like really easily, and that's because I actually built it before I planned everything and then I just bulldozed it and built it again. I I actually asked my mom for help because the first time I tried this I recorded about 18 minutes of building and I hated it. It just wasn't working. I still had like a I had like a lighter blue and it just didn't say summer to me. But I think that this warm wood tone and also using this yellow and blue really help. These colors are really vibrant sometimes or deep as is this blue and I also really enjoyed mixing some more mixing some more boho furniture with some more modern furniture. So for example the kitchen looks very modern and the dining room does too but these side tables are a lot they aren't as clean and modern and perfect so I really enjoyed that. I really liked having these interesting furniture pieces and these vases. This colorful vase is so beautiful. I decided to add a plant from, from Jungle Adventure inside it. I actually tried one before but I decided to keep the Jungle Adventure one and I was really inspired by the new Lovestruck expansion pack that's coming out later this month. It seems to have so many Mexican vibes and it's just making my heart very happy because I am Mexican and this is just something that I was very happy to see so I am going to be using some items from Jungle Adventure in here I definitely have some of that inspiration I would have used more beachy items but I do not have island living so it just wasn't a possibility so I really wanted to have the summer vibes with the colors mainly and I also added stuff like umbrellas and such because my the city where I live in is very sunny most of the year but in the summer it can be both sunny sometimes and it also gets like heavy rain so I wanted to have both vibes in here and it just seems like the kind of place that even if it was very cloudy that you would be able to not get depressed by everything looking gray because there's so much yellow and I was just very... and I just wanted to have so many textures and different things and I think I added a few plants I didn't add as many plants as I sometimes do but I think that it it is a pretty decently cluttered and plant-filled apartment um, one other thing that I did was to try and use some outdoor furniture and I didn't end up using as much of that as I thought I was going to but for example the bar stools are from the, the desert lux kit so those are very clearly meant to be outside for that bar but I think that here they look pretty nice and they have a similar vibe I thought to the rest of the apartment and I also decided to add some stuff from for rent because there's a beach there it's not like the same kind of 
beach that you would find in island living but I still wanted to have some of those more tropical items still so for example here in the kitchen I decided to add that gallery wall with the like soda advertisements I thought that was really cool it has the perfect colors and I also wanted to add this like sauna painting from Seasons I added that when my mom wasn't looking and when she came back she was really excited to see that it was also her idea to add the metal sun into the dining room and she just she was a great help with floor planning mainly and she had like these pet peeves that I normally would have decided I didn't care about so for example next to this living room I decided to have an office space and so I added a desk in there and she was very annoyed <laughs> by the desk covering the window so I ended up having it on the other wall so that there wasn't a window blocking problem she also spotted this like colorful jungle adventure rug and I just wasn't I didn't really consider it before because it's so skinny but when she mentioned it I decided that it was probably a good idea to try and use it like sized down and doubled up and I thought that it actually matches pretty well with the some painting and some of the other like colorful items here in this space and you can still see that there is a lot of very modern pieces such as that TV unit and there's also like this more boho stuff like the egg chair and these hanging plants and I think that I was able to get a very decent balance with that um, my mom was definitely also influential when it came to this she is more of a I would say modern person that's more of her design aesthetic she likes things that are like very geometrical and she also likes bright colors so I think that this apartment definitely reflects that and she's also very concerned about like functionality so sometimes she would tell me that something didn't make much sense she was a bit weirded out by this like hallway slash laundry room and I agree that it is probably not ideal and I actually would have liked to have the bathroom be accessible through this hallway instead of through the main living area just because it's the only bathroom in the house and that's where teams are going to shower um, but I think that it still makes sense it worked out pretty nicely and I also decided to add a bunch of like bathroom clutter and stuff into this hallway so for example we have this like toilet paper roll tower and I could have had this scooted forward and I think that would have made a lot more sense I don't think that they would be easy to reach um, I kind of wish we had like a set of toilet paper rolls instead of having like these individual ones I like the individual one um, but I wish that we had another option with like a cluster of them I think that would be easier for cluttering some of these spaces but this bathroom still uses a lot of clutter and it has a lot of storage there's this shelf on top of the toilet and there's these drawers next to this under the sink and I really enjoyed using this smaller end piece from these and this counter because it has a towel and so I was thinking that it was perfect to have the towel in here and it also looks like it could be the handle for a door so even if the actual door is hidden next to the wall I think that this works very nicely and I really enjoyed using the same, the same tile in here and I originally was thinking about using the floor to ceiling version of that well it's not floor to ceiling but it's a lot taller than this is and it's also from Jungle Adventure so it has the perfect tones the plaster I'm using everywhere in this house is actually from Eco Lifestyle I tried to use the Jungle Adventure one but it wasn't working so nicely um, but I think that it still matches pretty well and one thing that I did notice when working in these apartments these are different from the city living ones in some aspects so for example those windows but also when you paint these walls the wallpaper on the outside wall changes sometimes and it just like reverts to the original one that these 
building has before the neighborhood action plans that make it more modern coming and it's kind of annoying especially because you have to paint the whole wall if you want to fix that and you have to do that every time that the wallpaper changes but also there's this like single tile stripe that they have in the corners and I just wasn't able to add that maybe I just didn't know how to do that but I am just I just had to have the same wallpaper all over despite the fact that there's some variation but I was thinking that this teenager's room was for an artist and so I decided to have an easel, these leaning paintings with the beach and sun swatches I thought that was very summery and I struggled a bit with finding a bedside table for this space but I ended up having this one from the pastel pop kit and I really wanted there to be drawers in this in this bedside table but I just wasn't able to do that so I'm just going to imagine that this teenager has their art supplies in the normal dresser but I was also very happy that I was able to include a turtle and that couch from high school years that has the like tropical swatches and now moving on into this parents bedroom we have this closet slash bookcase unit which I was very happy with this I think really works because I didn't have a great spot for a bookshelf in here I know that the TV unit does work as a bookshelf but it has very few books and I'm a person that feels that houses need to have many many books so this felt a bit more realistic I would have liked to have more books but I'm trying to let go of my personal preferences and my preconceived ideas of what a house looks like so and this is the same say so you can have all the books they want or maybe they go to the library I don't know um so here in this parents bedroom I am continuing with these yellow and blue theme that I'm using everywhere I wanted to have a frame TV and this like very cute sitting area I decided to have a kitchen counter in the corner and to add um, a music player to it and I also combined this floor lamp and I thought that it was pretty cute to add these login reward pillows into the into the couches and to have them match the color of the other couch the yellow isn't the same but I decided that I was going to have to live with it and so I am using also this very bright yellow wall in here I think that I was able to make it less intense by having this bed that has just a little bit of yellow and the rug is also like mainly grey and also that painting and the lamps with the blue and the white I thought helped make it less vibrant but that's going to be mostly it for this building I'm just going to be adding some finishing touches thank you so much for watching if you like this build you can leave a like and a comment and you can also download it from the gallery, my ID is brand new and I will have it linked down in the description for you. Thank you again so much for watching and I hope to see you soon.